<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft pro. people here we are bringing you another review another left but this time summer mm -hmm. not a new one a re-release um we had it two years ago but missed it last year didn't we it went yeah. too quick so let's get the pour done yeah, we're going on seven out of the pro to really get the flavor out is the idea here and she's kicking in she's pouring well Mm, it's a good colour. I did sample a few last night, but I have been on the I've been on the R9, so you know. Yeah. Okay, let's get that in there first. Look at that. That's a beauty, isn't it? Lovely golden amber colour. That handsome. Get yes, that handsome left eye. I'll just get a quick shot. That handsome left eye. No, I can't get a quick shot. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for my phone and it's here, isn't I? Right, here we go. We'll get yep. a quick shot. I'll get out of the way. Camera, 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 camera. One of them days, eh? Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. There we go. So this comes in at. Let's move this over a little bit. £37.90, I do believe, from Beer Oak. Our friends at www.beerorg.co.uk. Um, what can I say about it? Um, if you take your discount, you're going three kegs, you're 15%, you're £5 back, it's about two eighty, two ninety a pint. For top draw drink, that's not half bad, is it? Yeah, it's that seasonal release, isn't it? It's yeah. a lighter version of the Left Blonde. Yeah, it's basically a, a different twist on Left mm. Blonde. There's a lot of people saying watered down version of Left Blonde, isn't it? Yeah, what's this coming at? 5.2%. 5 5 this being a Belgium Abbey beer. Um, the advantage with this is, where it's a Left Aid Blonde, Left Blonde, I keep saying Left Aid, I'm used to that, sorry. A 6.6 .6 can be the hangover from hell. We have got that to review next yeah. <laughs> or soon, fortunately. As you all know, there's the new keg. Glasses ready. I've got my tap handle. I don't think you can see it now. Anyway. Let's get on with this, let's have a go on the smell. See what we're getting in the odour. Yeah, it's, that, it's that left face smell, you've got some fruit, some fruit in it. Mm, it's it's a bit malty, spicy, isn't it? Fruity, there is a little hint of spice there. More mm. banana if you were going on any fruit, or is it in the head? Uh, it, it, could, it could be a banana -y smell there, yeah. It is banana, isn't it? Is it, it, it does smell a, a little bit banana. I've got addicted to <laughs> bubblegum smells and I've just got banana on the brain. Better than sausages, what's on your brain? This is definitely banana, but yeah, you've got lovely malts. Mm. Right, dive in time, here we go. Put the glass a little bit down. That's definitely banana on the taste. And I never thought that two years ago. That's definitely banana. Mm. You've got a lovely sweet malt. Um, there is a taste of, of a fruity taste, and there is banana coming through there. I have to agree with them. Um, it's just so lovely and smooth. There's a, a slightly spice on the finish, but yeah. it's, it's ever so slight. It's not predominant in your taste. For one thing out of interest here, just for trying that once, it hasn't got. Sometimes people say, well, I don't like the left, egg, left twang. It hasn't got that, has it? It hasn't got a twang to it, no. Well, let's try again. It is, go it's again. smooth. That's incredibly smooth. Mm. Incredibly drinkable. And it's a very mm. short, bitter aftertaste. Yeah. 
there's hardly any kind of poppy taste. This is sweet malt and fruit. The only little bit of you're getting or something else is um, a slight spiciness towards the end. Yeah. But yeah, that balances off the um, fruity taste that you get at the beginning. Which is definitely nice, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I don't know what we're going to go there. This is, uh, yeah, I don't know what to be your one. <laughs> so, I don't know where we're, where we're going on that. Um, it's a hard one, isn't it? It's, um, oh. well, this, is, this is a very pleasant <laughs> summertime drink. It, obviously, that's why it's a seasonal release. It works really well. I don't yeah. think it's lost a lot of punch. 5.2 is still a good um, percentage on the alcohol. Um, it's not, it's not if, if you're going on left blonde, thinking back to it, and bearing in mind we haven't had it in a while, yeah. it hasn't got as much depth as left blonde. Although, in the summer, a, light, a left a lighter, blonde, yeah. you're gonna, you can session in a day. 5.2 is mm. not bad, but it's not that mind blowing 6.6, six, yeah. six, and that 6.6 six, six does hurt you. <laughs> I mean, Handy. we haven't had it for a while since the last time. Um, someone drank too much of it. <laughs> but I mean, these these, these Belgium Abbey beers. I'm, I'm, I feel I'm getting more and more into them. The yeah, more definitely. that we're trying and everything. I mean, spring was a cracker, wasn't it? Mm, yes, I wanted to order good. another spring, but I, I decided to, I'm going to get quacked next, or after blonde, isn't it? But that is um, a definite yes. That is, that is getting a definite yes for me. And I'm going to go... Pleasant tasting, fruity, summertime drink. Yeah, and it, it's, it's just so smooth, as you yeah. said, right from, the, right from the first sip. I'm going to go as far as to give this an eight. Oh, and I was going to say... Oh, there we go. <laughs> an eight. It's just we've only got one of the banners at the moment. Yeah. I seem to have misplaced the other one. But have yeah, to look for the other one. Yeah. an all-round fair eight out of ten. What more can I say? Thank you for watching, people. Um, yeah, do feel free, like, subscribe, ask any questions, share, comment, anything you like. Bonjour, to the next one. Thanks for watching.